Okay, we're live. Yes, uh, so we've missed a couple of moves due to some connection problems to get online. So we see uh, King Zindian defense, which is a specialty of Miklos. He really enjoys playing this with black. So we'll move 17. Let's quickly welcome also our special guest today, uh, Cyprus chess champion, uh, Ioannis Zamianou, to the commentary. So what do you think about this position, Ioannis? The position is very close. Um, I think in the king side, uh, black's pieces uh, don't have any squares. All the pieces are on the board and because black has less space, uh, it's very difficult for him to organize play. And uh, I think white will uh, open up the queen side sooner or later. So here, white is slightly better. The knight on e8 has no squares. The bishop on f8 uh, not participating in the game. Um, yeah, it seems like. And yeah. uh, now black is threatening, probably knight takes h5. Hmm. Yeah, this is. This is actually very difficult to comment on right now, this position. <laughs> so, I mean. Black will just have to wait a bit. If he, I, I, the problem is he cannot connect his rooks. Black has very very little space, and all the minor and major pieces are on the board, so this makes it difficult for him. D6 is not an option. To play C6? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, yes, but it's, it's weakening the B6 part. But how can uh, white break through, actually? I think bishop a4 is not so good. Uh, because it exchanges pieces, but... Yes. Probably uh, white wants to weaken the right square, the six square, for example. So basically we're saying bishop takes bishop, knight takes, and then maybe... Queen e8, something like this. Why not queen d7 straight away? No, I think queen e8. You should be for this uh, logical move, I think, because uh, the bishop on f8 and the knight on g7 are very bad pieces, so white mm -hmm. exchange is the only good piece. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking here queen e8, maybe. Potential sacrifice on h5. Ah, that's your idea. Yes, yes. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't... Trying to be a bit more active on this position for black here. Uh, you have some compensation, but I don't know if it's enough. I think queen d7, bishop e7, and just connect the rooks. And just wait, you don't have an active plan. I think he's thinking he has the same idea as you. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Sacrificing on B6, not possible, huh? How would you, what would you, your plan B here with white, uh, Johan? Can we what? Um, as the pawn structure is maybe a knight d3 and c5 at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Or I think the rook has to go to the c5 uh, to be ready, for example, if white plays knight b5 and c5. 
looks looks like a good option. Yeah, is he preparing with this move? Bishop is saying go KH8, King, King, or maybe to go down to D8? Personally, I think Black can just wait here. He, he cannot do much. Ah, yes, it's to play Bishop D8. In case of Knight B5, Bishop D8, yes. I think Knight B3 and C4 is a good plan for White. Yeah, but he needs to be aware of the sacrifices you said, and I take H5. The problem is, after you sacrifice, there is no good follow-up. I mean, he can just bring the queen over, especially now that he played the knight. Okay, I'll this... play uh, king g7, rook h8, h5. It's too slow. I think no, he's going to go slow. with the plan Johan missed. He's just going to break with the c5. Uh, no. the, only, the only logical follow-up of the sacrifice is g4. g4 because the rook is on the g5. Let's see. He went for it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, no, it's, I think it's, uh, it's not that bad because black is very passive. It's, you know, it's a good practical try, I think. Also, Michalis is a very active player, so he doesn't enjoy just waiting. Yeah, and now he... White has to defend the F3. The knight on G7 was not really functioning as a yes. I mean, it's good to give it for two pounds and try to attack. If he plays uh, queen g2, is not good due to g4. So maybe maybe rook f1, but still rook f1, we still have g4. Yeah, but what about... What about... Yeah, um, I I don't know. Yes. I <laughs> think I really like. I, I disagreed with Queen H two check after King F two. I think he should have played uh, G four in this position. King F two, G four. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because I think now Queen H two then... he just goes this. Yeah, G four and may and even F five. Yeah. I mean, after G. So the problem is there is also Rook H one now. Yeah. Rook H one and. Uh... What do you do? Yeah, rook h1, queen g3, and then the other rook to... Yes, exactly. And uh, your queen is... Oh, no, you can't, because queen takes f3, check. Yes, 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 you can. Queen takes f3. No, rook h1 and rook takes h6, but I don't know if f takes g4 first. What? You can even... No. And you always have the pawn takes f3 at some point. Quiton says hi to our YouTube channel. <laughs> hi, Quiton, thank you for watching. Yeah, most part of this position is. This position, I don't know. Black looks lost. I mean, how do you, how do you save the queen? And then you also now you also have the problem with the h6 pawn. Yeah, but uh, king g7. Ah, oh, this. And what else? Eh? 
queen g2, rook takes h6, king g7. And there's no rook g1. Yeah, but maybe not rook takes h6, bishop takes h6. Uh, the king is just a rook. And rook a g1. Bishop takes. I mean, queen g2, bishop takes h6, followed by rook a g1. Yeah. Bishop takes no. h6. Uh, okay. Oh, with the yeah. bishop. Ah, if, and if the queen moves, it's just check with the rook, open rook, yes. Yeah, you're right. Some, maybe some option here is rook a3. Oh, these are like desperation moves now. Uh, black. Yeah, nice. Now it's, it's, it's resignable, but because it's blitz, he is playing two again. Then, yeah, this is Bishop F8. Yeah, this is over. Okay, so what does uh, Mikhailis play against D4? Let's ask Johannes, who's uh, who usually plays against Konstantinov. <laughs> I think uh, most probably the French defense. Uh, yes. uh, I know that I remember. Yes, it's always French that he plays against me. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? What happened? Okay. So. Can you go from the beginning to see the moves from the beginning, Remark? A little bit. Yeah, sure. I was French, Robinstein. Okay. 97. Mm -hmm. Theory. So this is all the uh, theory, Yanis, yeah? Yeah, this must be still theory. Yes. So here me. But it looks like a very practical uh, line for uh, black. Yes, because the idea is simple. Just D takes E4, knight 7 knight of 6 and normal development, D5. Yeah. And Simply... I think uh, white equalized, I mean black equalized here, yeah? It's completely... Uh, um, bishop b5, I'm not sure about bishop b5, because white doesn't really want to exchange that bishop for the one on c8. Yes, yes. So bishop b5 wasn't that good because of this. Maybe he thought that black would play bishop d7, bishop c6, but bishop d7 is not so easy because white would just go bishop 6, f6. And pick up the bishop on d6. Uh, guys, I have to go. Enjoy the rest of the games. Thank you very much, Fields, for your being online and analyzing the games with us. Have a good evening. Bye bye. Have a nice evening. Bye bye. Bishop takes f6 doesn't work, Yanis, yeah? Uh... G takes f6. G takes f6. Uh, and then I take on d6 with the queen. And bishop takes b5. No. Yeah. And then castle queen. It might be a nice, interesting position, though. Uh, 
actually exchanging two minor pieces with bishop b5 is as black's game. But now, okay, now it's uh, approaching an endgame. Ready. Bishop b4 looked like a good move. Now the king, the white king, I think is a bit too, will be too exposed after exchanging queens. Uh, exposed, not really. I didn't expect this. I expected king takes d3. Yeah, this worsens the pawn structure. Maybe he wants to place a rook on the c5. But b3 is just a weak pawn now. Black pawn structure was worse, but he has the open g. Uh, G file and maybe the opportunity to push the H pawn for active play as the pawn structure is right now. This is um so here who do you think is slightly better white or black? Um I think the position is dynamically balanced but black is getting over now because I don't understand really uh, why white played uh knight d4. Maybe uh, to go I to prefer, I would prefer to have probably the black pieces. But the position, I think, is just balanced, objectively. Him. Oh, maybe he, what is white going to do is just exchange all the rooks. Rook takes c8, rook takes c8, rook c1. Like. Rattle it down to a knight against bishop endgame. Mm. I don't think the knight is better than the bishop. Actually, it's, I think it's the opposite, but uh, maybe he wants to do that. But, I mean, I don't understand why uh, being the knight to b3 is the only logical explanation. Yeah, this is what he's doing. He's going to go, he's trying to get into a minor piece. Different yeah. minor piece end game. Yeah, I'm not sure this is good, but uh, I think these three like... pawns are pawns are really really strong because they're like central pawns. Actually, you, you can't really move the pawns because because then you leave uh, weaknesses behind. But they control important squares. I think black is the one who is going to press in this end game, though it's still far from uh, clear advantage. The danger is white. White shouldn't. Should white put the pawns on the color of the bishop, or should he put them on the opposite color of the bishop in this in this specific position here? Uh, it depends. If if black is pressing a pawn, then you want it on the opposite color of the bishop. But um, if you want to just uh, uh, restrict the activity of the bishop, you're going to put it on a, on the same square. 
I think I think here white would generally prefer to put the pounds on a on a light square, but that that could easily uh, make a, a way for the black king to penetrate if you put all the pounds on the on the same square. So it really really depends. Because I was like thinking maybe f4 g3, but I think f4 g3 gives him yeah very yeah. powerful exactly exactly black can press these pounds so black white doesn't really want to put them to put those pounds on dark squares. Maybe King D5. Or... Yeah, King D5 looks like a nice move. Yeah, King D5. So then Bishop takes H2. And then if H3, the... then maybe F6 to play E5. Maybe. Yeah, it's not easy for black to to win, but I think he's the one that is gonna be pressing in the ending. Yeah, I, I would play b6, I don't know. Yeah, I want to play knight c5. So yeah, maybe b6, and if he plays knight d2, uh, our bishop b6. If knight c4, just bishop c7. Uh, maybe knight f3. To be ready Even to play uh, 95 or 95. Uh, I thought about uh, after knight f3, f6, so. Yeah, f6 is possible. To push e5. He plays knight b3, so as when the bishop moves, he wants to go knight c5, but black just plays king c6, I think. E5 with the idea, d takes e5, bishop takes f2, and then white can't not defend the e pawn. Oh, so white won a pawn basically with this. Uh, maybe, maybe knight a5. But after knight a5, b6, so huh? knight, knight c4, bishop. Four. Yes. Uh, knight d2, white is just as the pawn down. Double pounds, but still. No. Yeah, because after knight c4, king d5, the same. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a nice one. Come, the king cannot have any, the king has no squares to break through. Yeah, so e5 yeah. was a nice break. This was really oh, again the same idea trying to take the uh, black is trying to provoke h3 so that the king later may follow the root e5 and 4 g3 to penetrate. Uh, was knight g5 possible? Knight g5. 
Uh, on knight g5, maybe f6. So. F6, knight takes h7, king e6. Yeah. I think knight g5 was better. Yeah, now, even now, knight g5 is player. Uh, now, knight g5, f6, the knight would be trapped if knight takes h7. I think. Because oh. black, uh, black plays bishop to, keep, to take the f8 square away from the knight. Now king e5, black wanted to go king e4, king g3. Uh, white didn't stop that. Maybe king e3 should have been played, I don't know. And if knight e3, bishop c5. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is... Knight, knight d5. Now it should be easy for white to. And if knight f6 is played, it's simply king g5, knight takes h7, king g6, and the knight is trapped. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a swing for black. Yeah, he. He found the. Uh... Before was also. Yeah, e5. So good. And... In white, just uh, waste of time going knight d2, knight f3 instead of trying to block black's king. Yeah, so. So it went 2 nil, yeah. I'm just waiting for a rematch to take place so that it continues. Yeah, so the move E4 so e5 was, was the game yeah, was changer the, here. It was the point where the game changed. I, I was, yes. I'm wondering if white did not take the pawn. But I think black would just go e4, and still it's uh, an improved position with the pawn on e4 instead of e6. Yeah. Oh, so we're not going to see the king's India now. No. <laughs> I'm not sure black could play this without d6. Ah, okay. Because bishop e5. Thing about king h8 f5 ideas, but it must not be good. Oh, maybe in the future. Yeah. And usually black will try to play c5 and attack the center. Yeah, e6 and c5 maybe, and also f5 in the future. c5 with knight d7, yes? Not uh, straight okay. away. Or knight d7 and uh, b6, bishop b7. d5. This looks extremely dangerous. I, uh, I don't like the black king where he is. We have too many pieces not playing at the moment. Maybe we should. Yeah, maybe black, black should find, play the bishop out. I have to find a way to develop for sure. And he also has to hit white center. Yeah. 
Uh, maybe knight c6 with the idea of um, d takes e4 and e5 then. Yeah, I just play c5. Now F6. F6 uh, costs a queen side though, yeah? yeah? I think there's no need to react on F6. What? You can't, you can't really leave the, the pawn structure as it is though. You, you have to, you have to hit some, somehow. 97 and C5. I mean, I'm not sure about knight c6 because after e5, it seems knight c6 was just uh, not so good move. Yeah, the knight has nowhere to go after this move, yeah. Yeah, black has to find a break, either f6 okay, or he, he plays f6, yeah. He, yeah, he, as, far, as far as he played knight c6, f6 is most logical. If he wanted to play c5, he should have done it without developing the knight on c6. And now queen takes. And he's gonna try to play e5 to free the bishop or bishop d7 and rook a e8. Yeah, I think I think white needs to cast a queen side and I don't know if it's maybe a bit too slow. Um, oh. an idea can be knight two and knight g four. Yeah, now knight h two, queen takes f two. But uh, an idea in the future. Yeah, knight's important. Who is going to occupy the e five square first? If black is going to play e five or white is going to block. Yeah. Now. Now. Look, I, I don't really like a5. It's okay. He will play a4, a3, but I guess a3. White can simply play b3, though. Um, black is trying to see counter play. A5 is I was thinking. A5 is a, a usual follow up. Yeah, now rook pf1 to protect the f2 pound and knight h2, knight g4, and f4 is possible. Is this maybe possible? Something like b5, rook f7, bishop f8? To be able ah. to play, oh no, b5, is, b5 just drops to bishop takes b5, yeah. Yeah, but okay, B5 has an idea. It's possible. I mean, play Rook B8, Knight A5, and then B5, but this takes Rook B8. This is at least three moves, which means White has much more time to start an attack. Well, the, the only way to continue the attack on the Queen side is B5, B4 for, for Black. Maybe B5, B4. Maybe now B5. And if Queen takes B5, Knight? Uh, queen takes B5, Rook F B8. Queen D3? Uh, yeah, Queen D3. Uh, yeah, still not so easy to continue. As in the first game, it's similar to the first game. Black is trying to uh, find some active play. Because in both games, I think white 
uh, just clamp Black's position out of the open. Even though Black tried to play aggressive, he ended up clamping his position into solid. He got clamped now. Yeah, that time with d5 and then knight c6. Uh, after white c5, it was a point that made Black's position. Go good. Okay, so that. Knight h2, oh, he yeah. Knows. yeah, knight g4 and f4 is the idea. Basically, he's saying that b4 is not a threat in this position. Well, I think black is going to play b4 anyway, because it's the only... Oh, you cannot take with a c pawn, though. Wait, c... Ah, e5. Yeah, if five is the other the other break. When one side is attacking the, at the flank, the correct reaction is to open up the center for the defending side. Yeah, so and also if knight g4 is played, there is also this simple bishop takes g4 possibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah. F4? Yeah, e5 was, was a, a good move. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was. So maybe, I don't know if F4 is playable. Doesn't really look like it then because I simply take or something. Take here. And if you take queen takes, doesn't, oh, okay. Yeah, so now black uh, can also fight for an advantage. Um, white is the one who must be careful. Black also has the two bishops now. And that's the position. Yeah, an open position. An open, yeah, the bishop is going to be very strong. And also uh, white's pawn structure is worse. And there are uh, weak squares in white's camp. Yeah, it's trying to come to e3 with the knight. Mm -hmm. I take the one. B take. Uh, I was thinking about D take and maybe bishop c6. But he wants to open the b5 so that uh, can play rook b8 and the white king is not free to approach the center. Yeah, now f5 with the idea of knight g4 and f6. Knight, yeah. And also threatening the hp pawn. Yeah, now I think black, yeah. Must have misplayed something. Yes, because uh, no, no, yeah, now white is white is back on yeah, track. You, it looks. You don't see the threat because his position was strategically better for sure. But now black has some problems. Actually, he's losing the pawn. But still, uh, uh, the two bishops may have may prove to give some compensation, yeah, and also attacking b2. Yeah, 
This is going to go down to the wire on time as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a wild game. It's anybody's game. No, King, King D1. I mean, it's, in a blitz game, it's very difficult to play correctly this position. This might have just been a blunder from... Uh... Why rook take? Oh. Um, yeah, why rook takes f6? Ah, uh, because if bishop takes, then rook h7 anyway. I don't know. Yeah, well, but why did... Yeah, why does it piece up now? Yeah, why is comfortably a piece of yeah, this is a uh, ninety six check on the look for yeah. There was not enough time to play correctly. The position was really very tactical and maybe white white was slow at some point. Yeah, now we have to now we see that white need white need basically Michalis now needs to win three games in a row. Yeah. To make it into the tie breaks. I have again the same variation as before. I think it was the best he got from the opening, Michalis, in the previous yeah. game with white. Yeah. I mean, in the same variation with white. Uh, when he got that end game, I mean, it wasn't a bad position at all. Yeah, he played bishop b5, which was not really good. Yeah, he played bishop b5. Oh, and also here he took this with the bishop. Yeah. So he changed he changed his variation by knight takes d4, bishop d6. And now he played knight b5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm tempted to play. If I was black, I would have played bishop b8. Yeah, bishop b8. Okay. Leaving the options open of a um, checkmate on h2. Yeah, I have to keep the bishop backing on the b8 h2 diagonal. Because if uh, bishop b7, just bishop f4, threatening. Oh, knight b7, yeah, bishop b8. I don't know if. Uh, why could play bishop? I uh, know bishop c5 to prevent black from castling, but maybe queen d5, threatening c2, and the bishop. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we're probably gonna see castle, castle. No, oh, bishop c5. Queen d5, yeah. Maybe bishop c5 is a blunder? His idea is to prevent black from castling, but as I said, queen b5 now threatening c2 pound and the bishop on c5. Yeah, most probably a mistake. I don't see a way out. Yeah, it's I don't see a way out of for white for white out of now, out of this yeah. slight yeah, mess. Must have been a mistake. Uh, castle castle is there. Logical follow up, but uh, Black's position was anyway good from the opening. Uh, yes, I, I, I don't, I don't uh, believe that White really knew uh, what he was doing with the knight takes d4 and knight b5. It was just um, um, he thought it during the game. Yeah, maybe he wasn't happy with the previous game when he played bishop takes d4, decided to just change the variation slightly. Now, this simply loses a piece, though, doesn't it? Uh, bishop, bishop takes d6. Bishop b5 is the idea. Bishop b5 check. Aye. Um, 
but uh, yeah, not sure. Uh, yeah, probably loses a piece because bishop d7. Um, and uh, black is gonna think with the king, protecting the bishop. It's gonna end up a piece up. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take with the king. Yeah, just a blunder. And Clinton's d5 changes nothing. Yeah, black is, I think black will end up a piece. We land the piece up. Yeah, it's uh Yeah, the team didn't go really good for white from the beginning. Yeah, he, he, he yeah, he put the piece uh just like stuck his piece in the middle of the board and got forked. Uh, I think his yeah, his playing style is very aggressive. But the moves also has to have to be justified. I mean, uh, Costantino really punished uh, uh, his mistakes. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, yeah, knight takes d5. Or... It's a piece up for Cosandino. He's not going to. So he probably won the match. Okay, yeah, yeah. So far, all the matches have been won in the fourth game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. But my match was not was not it was not four zero. No. <laughs> You're a bit more you you were a bit more friendly with your opponent. No, he he ended the points uh, really fairly, and he could he could have earned more. I think maybe Bishop E2, but maybe Bishop E2 is asking for too much. Uh, Bishop E2, Rook D2, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it was asking, to, yeah, it doesn't do anything. I think White is going to win a pawn. Uh, it's he might be able to pawn. take pawn, yeah. Uh, but I think he's going to play. We should take f6, he takes, he takes d5. And bishop b5. Or bishop a4. Yeah, c takes d5, yeah. G I say take c5 and rook takes c5. Yeah, I mean, we should take f6. That's the only try. Yeah, it's still, obviously, it's still just lost. Black wants to go rook e2. Double the rooks on the second rank. No, so rook c8. I mean, we rook c8 first, so then after rook e2, you can just play rook c2. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's easy. It's really one. And white has uh, barely got the minute on the clock. Uh, 
Oh ya, Ruk. Si Aisyah kan Ruk itu. Ya, oke. Okay. Terutama ini Ruk si Aisyah dan Ruk si si itu. Ruk si Aisyah. Ruk si Tari, maybe or maybe one. Ruk. Okay, yeah, it went four nil. Yeah, we saw three three different openings when Cosandino was white. But the same opening yeah. when it was black. Yeah, this is a double fianchetto position. English style. Oh, where did the E4? Yeah, this, I mean, this is a little bit strange. Oh. Uh, C6 requires, in my opinion, yeah. I'm pretty sure E4 was... I'm not sure it was the best option. Yeah, maybe Michal is now like, let, let me just play to get at least half a point, you know? I don't know. Yeah, this isn't... E4. Well, as we... Game is now uh, d6 is weak, so if black gets d5, he's probably fine. Yeah, if he doesn't, then white should be a little bit. But I don't know, uh, white didn't really manage to punish e4, so maybe. There was either a better continuation for white or e4 was just uh, fine. Yeah, no, no, uh, I don't think there's anything to fear for for, no black. for black really in this position. White doesn't want, want to change. This correct. Maybe it's trying to play knight d6 to go to b7. Or knight d5. Knight d4 is also uh, one of his next moves. Yeah. Yeah, knight d4 is, is, a, is a correct move. Because black pieces will be a little bit uncoordinated. And also, white can uh, attack the bishop in various ways, like d4 or d5. Yeah, now the, the okay, the d5 pawn has left, but now the knight is a is a target on d5. So as long as the knight is sitting there, this is this is very this is a target for. Um, to target, yeah, if white plays e4, he's gonna chase uh, the knight away. Yeah. But uh, now this bishop. Maybe knight g5 and uh, e4 and f4 is the plan for white. Or yeah, now knight c5, if possible. Why is taking over again? And just when it seems black, black was fine. Uh, again, why this better? Yeah, Cosandinos' play has been very, very clean actually today. Not 
very few, hardly any mistakes creeping into his game. His wins were very smooth, uh, except this, the one that uh, they uh, were both in time trouble, I think, that game. Uh, game anybody, three. Yeah, anybody could have won. Yeah, we'll, we'll analyze it in more detail uh, when they both finish the two, last two games. So we can speak to them and see how they saw that position. E4 looks like an interesting choice, yeah? E4 or... I think Constantinos is going to play e4. Just played the rook c1 then. This must be this must be terrible this move now. I think yeah, I think Michal is uh, again, he cannot do wait in all his positions. <laughs> he couldn't just uh, stay passive. He he's looking for active ways to play, but uh, uh, they are not uh, really justified, and Constantinos always punishes him. Because yeah, now, now there's like an open diagonal of the bishop onto the rook. Yeah, yeah. yeah. White won a pound, and he's probably going to win a second one. Yeah, yeah, he's going to do it this way. It was, yeah, it was probably yeah. also unfortunate for uh, Michalis that uh, he was playing with Constantinos because Constantinos uh, really uh, he plays also aggressively and strategically, but whatever he plays, he is justified. He calculates before playing it. And just. Uh, that's his character of play. Yeah, a very solid, very, very solid player. So this is two pounds up and again. Um F three and then E four. Yeah, should be should be easy. He's preventing all kinds of counterplay for Black, not giving him any, nothing to breathe on. Maybe even knight d4 is possible here. And if rook takes rook, then it takes bishop check and then take it with a rook. Yeah, um, there are so many moves that are winning. Yeah. You can you can hardly go wrong. And Constantino's technique is very good also. Yeah, maybe just eight three and yeah, and ninety four. Yeah. Well, it's gonna get the C file or exchange all rooks, which is gonna be very easy then to win the game by creating a passed pawn and 
bring in the team. Sixty-seven, ninety-four. Yeah, doubling with the rooks is not really good because of knight takes e6. Yeah, okay, because Aminos puts everything on on dark squares, so that that is not an, any attack on the bishop. Preventing all kinds of uh, intermediary moves like bishop f5. Yeah, I mean, might be free to do whatever he wants. Uh, his position is just so dry, and why is two pawns out? I'm still going knight d4, uh, I mean, knight e5, sorry. Yeah, knight d4. I think black has to exchange rooks, and if he doesn't, why well, is gonna go rook c7? And um, he's gonna have to exchange rooks eventually. Yeah, and now he's gonna pass one as well. Okay, he takes. Most by knight takes bishop as well, and then simply c6. I think c6 is what Sandino is going to say. c6 and c7. Yeah, and I'll see some enforcing rook c8. Maybe rook c5. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the bishop has no, nowhere really to go. Why is going to win another pawn? Actually, because it's bishop a4, rook a5. And if not bishop a4, uh, it's going to go knight take b5. Okay, so after the exchanges, black wants to take the c6 pawn. Okay, so Gosantinos goes for the rook end game. Yeah, when they look behind the behind the pawn, it's gonna be easily winning. And even if Black goes to to win the the eight pawn with his uh, rook and king, then the resulting king and pawn and game is gonna be winning for White. Yeah, because the king will be closer to the uh, pawns than mm -hmm. his king will ever be. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter that White is a pawn up. Even if if it was equal pawns, White will be winning. Yeah, uh, here for example, go k4 and then king e3. King e3, yeah. King e3, yeah, king f4 next. Mm -hmm. Although king e3 falls into go e6. Uh, g5, king g5. Yeah, but now go, uh, yeah, but this is simply king f. Uh, or a6. Ah, uh, no. King f4. Ah, uh, really, there is not so much meaning in playing this. Also, putting the rook on a8 does not improve black's position. Uh, tempting rook e8 because uh, king f6 and then rook has to go back. Uh, king f6 is going back. Yeah, white has many ways to win. Yeah, the easiest is to put the a pawn. He can either bring the king's king to the king side or to the queen side, or that's what he did, which is the fastest, the easiest. So, 5 0. Five, zero. 
Let's let's see the last game and see if this is going to be another clean uh, six nil or whether. I don't know, but we see again the fudge. Maybe Michal is disappointed already. It's the same line again. Ah, again something slightly different. Castle, yeah, Castle I think is the probably the number one move for the theory. Yeah, the queen can't take the knight because of the simple bishop e5 check. <laughs> Is he going to go for bishop d5 check again as he did in the first? Uh, game in this line. Uh, it's gonna refrain from it. Bishop, uh, Bishop G5 has to be a little bit careful for tactics in the future. If Bishop takes H2 and Knight G4, not now, but yes, but Queen takes G4. Yeah, not I was now. thinking Bishop takes H2, King takes maybe E5, and then Knight G4 check. Yeah, no, now it's not possible, but in the future, the bishop is, if the bishop is undefended on g5, it may be a problem. And also the knight on d4, if the black king is not on a light square, uh, bishop takes h2 and queen takes d4. Oh, this is, so this is basically what black, black is now threatening bishop takes h2, yeah. d3. Ah, no, uh, black was not threatening because uh, bishop takes h7 in the end. Ah, uh, still, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, c3 is normal to protect the knight. I could play here maybe like queen b6 or something. No, queen b6, yeah. Uh, he has to solve the problem with the knight. Mm -hmm. Is this an option e5, e4? Uh, you mean now? Yeah. It's basically, the idea is once these two pieces move out of the way, you play bishop takes h2 and then king takes h2, knight g4 check because knight is um, protected now. Yes, but I think after e4, white would just play bishop takes e4. Maybe that is g5, yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe, is... maybe, maybe it was possible, but it, uh, I don't know, it needs calculation. I think Constantino's move is uh, safer and more simple. Like yeah, we should see two is a certain in the naughty queen d3. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> A bishop e7 is just simpler and queen d3 g6. Uh, knight takes uh, oh, knight takes e6 doesn't work yet. No, they are not sacrifices. Ideally, black no, would like. To, ideally, black would like to place the bishop on the long diagonal a8 h1, but b6 not is not possible because of knight c6. So. Maybe he can prepare this. Uh, or go, yes, or go, yes. And whenever black uh, tries to play queen c7, maybe white will annoy him with bishop g3. And if queen g3 is knight h5. Yeah, queen g3, knight h5. I think black's position is solid, solid enough. And 
five that you said before may be possible the next move so as to chase the knight away and then play bishop c6 or or e4 or bishop f5 yes Think, uh, it's hard to find something for white to do. Oh, white played. Yeah, this now e5 is not even playable because simply go yeah. takes e5. Stop e5. Uh, maybe rook f e1 and rook a d1 was more logical, but the fact that he, he has brought the other rook is showing that maybe he wants to go f4. Because uh, then why leave the rook on f1? Maybe he wants to go f4. Yeah, maybe f4, f5 as well. Yeah. What about this option? Rook e3. Rook e3, rook lift. Yeah, but okay, still it would be more logical to go with the other rook if he okay. wanted to do this because uh, he would always have the option to go rook a d1. But I think Black's position is quite solid. All these um, aggressive opportunities for White uh, don't really bring him much. Yes, yeah, F4. Yeah, White. Uh, definitely, White is trying to attack. That's for sure. Uh, knight takes e6 was not possible because after bishop takes e6, rook takes e6, the queens are uh, interacting, so queen takes e6. Yeah, I was wondering about queen b6 now for black. Maybe. Um, Queen b6, king h1. Queen takes b2. Uh, f5. The bishop is undefended there. I think nothing. The queen b6 with the idea of queen takes b2 is not so. Uh, not the main priority for black. Because then uh, white's attack may be dangerous. Yeah. Uh, Another yeah. option would be maybe bishop c5 in the knight. Uh, 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 yeah, but he, he leaves the knight on f6 and defends it. Okay, queen b6. I don't think he plays it with the idea of queen takes b2 immediately. No, no. But more with the idea to pin the knight, yeah, king h1. Ah, queen takes uh, b2, and if f5, g5. It could be an option, yeah. And but I think... f5. Uh, yeah, maybe f5. Uh, Black wants to play g5. Because if f5... Now? Yeah, now, f5 now. F5, uh, ah, yes, ah, yes, you cannot take E takes F5, so mm -hmm. play G5. Yes, but if you play G5, if white plays G5, what about, sorry, black plays G5, F takes E6. Yes, F takes E6. There may be a fight now for black. Because at queen B6 left the bishop undefended on his hand. I think I think Hal is going to go for f5 now. Mm -hmm. It's that the Costandinos is down less than a minute on the clock. Costandinos played queen b6 with the idea to free the d8 square for the rook and play rook a d8 as he did, and then bishop c8 so as to pin the knight. So. White has to play a five now, I think, before 
uh, black dot that. Yeah. Yeah, the, the position is going to get very tactical after it. Thank you. Maybe he's preparing f5 slightly more. Yes. For the knight yeah. d5, yeah. Yeah, e5 uh, e5 uh, now black will play f5 mm, f5 weekend yeah but e5 that you suggested maybe was maybe was a better option not sure at all. Yeah. If five, maybe a five before. Okay. This is a nice knight takes e six. Very very nice move. Yes, bishop b five left e six undefended. Black should be a little bit more patient. He should have been. Uh, knight takes a fate. Check. Ooh, that's a. Uh... Um, still knight takes a fate. Check. Knight takes g five. Maybe white was pushing it. <laughs> Uh, black is a rook up for three pawns. Um, but maybe some ideas with rook f4. Yeah, I mean, why not play rook f4? Instead of bishop b3. Uh, queen h4, queen takes knight though, yeah? Yeah. Uh, both players have very little time, that's why. Uh, so many f6? Things. Oh, Ooh, queen this... c1. Oh, queen c1 was just made. Yeah, yes. he couldn't play rook f3 or rook f... Ah, rook f4. He could have played rook f4, but then rook e8. Okay. Oh, so white lost on time. Yes. So we saw 6-0. Yes, that last game... Yeah, white could have won that, that last game. Welcome back, Kosandinos and Michalis. Hello. Hello. Uh, do we, which which game do we want to start? Congratulations, Kosandinos, firstly for winning the match. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the interesting games, Michali, as well. Uh, which game should we start with? The last one, and we go backwards, or you want to start with the first game? Um, we can start with the last one. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. we'll start with the last one. Uh -huh. okay. Here, maybe Queen C1 checkmate. No, no. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe Queen C1 checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> it was up from the beginning. Too much time pressure in the last game. No, it was. Yeah. Uh, uh... The last game I played pretty badly, actually. Uh, at the end, uh, in the middle, actually. Somewhere. Whenever you would like to say something, just let me stop. So, uh, mm -hmm. It should be five. Here, oh. I don't know. The, the pin was really annoying. That's why I played bishop b7. I don't know. Like, mm. Generally, I got a position that um, it's it's hard to find uh, some good squares for the pieces. I don't know. Like, because, for example, if I try something like b6, there's always knight c6, queen f3, something like that. And there's always not. Uh, some problems, some threats for white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
I thought at some point later, uh, when you play bishop d7, uh, you had the idea to play e5 and bishop c6, to chase the knight and play bishop c6. Yes, I, th I thought about it, but after e5, I, I think he would play knight f5. That, that's no, where no, no. I'm not really sure. Uh, after g6. Uh, after G6, G6. They, they after G6. Okay. Uh, so now, yeah, he stopped E5. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he stopped mm -hmm. E5 idea. King G7, F4, Queen B6. King Here already, I think yeah, I have a, a sorry. pretty bad position. I don't know. Mm. Before, before F4, before F4, okay. there is uh, Rook takes uh, e6. Rook takes e6. Well, look, no. No. I, no, no, he rook takes e6. I, I think it works, yeah, yeah. Oh, I missed yeah. that. I saw that before. <laughs> oh. yeah, I thought that I would only knight take e6. But rook takes e6 is correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, because of. I, I saw it there after, afterwards. Yeah. Uh, we were concentrating too much about F4, F5 ideas. Queen B6, yeah, we were, we were saying F5. Mm -hmm. Yes, we were saying and about after, F5. And after King H, Maru gave B8 also. F5. Hey, it should work, yeah. Um, no. It just needs some calculation. I think it it, it works. Yeah. If G five and take this. Yes, this is what we, yeah, this is what we were looking at uh, while you were playing. Yes. Bishop uh, B five. Bishop B five. We. I think there. Just, there is just yeah. I think. Neither the, five. No, no. Neither five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We didn't see Bishop B five though. We look at other lines. Yeah, this is uh, s simply winning. Yeah, yeah. So after Queen G3, Knight H5, Queen G4, Yeah. So bad moves for me. Yeah, well, you were, um, I think both of you were like 20 seconds. I yeah. see. <laughs> And here I started blundering somewhere. Uh, yeah, Bishop B5 was already blundering. Yeah. Well, and here we saw. <laughs> yes, if I was not. It's still winning, but. It's, uh, well, it's, it's a draw now. It's After 95, yes. Yeah. Uh, 95 draw, and then. Yes, uh, you, need to, you need to play book F3. That was very difficult to, to find this move. So, yeah, this is. I had some seconds. Yeah, yes, Mihalis wants to try to win this uh, game with like at all costs. So, knight takes g5, h takes, queen takes, bishop. Here, I, I should be better, but I just have to find some concrete moves that yes, uh, I did, I did not uh, manage yes. to find. <laughs> the mate in seven for a while. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't find in five seconds. What should I what should I have played instead of Rook H8? Rook G8. Oh yeah, Rook G8. Oh yeah, I, I just escaped, yeah. Through F8. Oh yeah. no, no. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. no. because if you play Rook H8, you play Rook F3, putting checkmate here. This already lost, right? There's no there's no defense, I think. No, there's nothing. You you have to sacrifice everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And here it's it's like changing the evaluation it keeps changing like ninety four queen queen is Anyone, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really you have, you have H3. Don't play like me, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only time. 
Man, it's a too little time to find all these nuances here to try yeah, to yeah, win this. A position. lot of time pressure. Page, yeah. page three, page three, and then uh, rook uh, f f five most probably. Page three, and we there's a lot of compensation for the exchange. I think it's it should be winning for one. Yes. Yeah. This, yeah. We look at the other one now. I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In this game, we thought that after b5, black was more or less okay. But then. I don't know the opening, so why you choose that? <laughs> That's why. Yeah, we thought this was okay for for, for yeah, black. 94, yes. was a, 94 was a very good move, I think. Yes, 94. And I totally took over. I mean, in this kind of position, I always have the, the small advantage. And because the knight is still on b8, and it's, it needs a lot of time to develop. Yeah, white is already much better. Yeah. I have some problems here. I don't know. Yes. Uh, here, back Basically, to you, need to, find you need to wait. Mm -hmm. yeah. I should wait now and play something like Rook E8, maybe to attack the pawn and then something. I can't play this move, Martin. Sorry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We were saying with uh, Yanis, you would. It's very boring. Like B6, you can. And then. Black loses two points. Yes. And now it's uh, finished. Yeah, 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 the game, the it's game it's was already finished. Lost, yeah. 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 It, was, it was a solid game. Uh, this was an interesting ending. I thought you would play one time. Um... Uh, no, what is that option? Ah, it's it's not to take you. Yeah. Play the knight of six. Yes, I thought that one time you would play this. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, just another variation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I prefer to play something more simple instead of. Yes, I, I like mm -hmm. the comic. Yes, yeah, this was an uh, interesting. Uh, uh, yeah, but Bishop C5. I blundered that. Yeah, yeah, that Bishop C5, we said we blundered Queen D5 to this. Yeah. Yeah, so. And black takes with the king if he should take c7. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's always that. Now oh, he can't look here, eh? he can't look. He can't uh, make a castle. <laughs> it's... Yeah, it's 94. <laughs> this is the uh, good for me, eh? he can't castle. It's killing. Uh, no, the game was over after the way you blundered the uh, bishop c5, where you blundered the uh, pawns. No, the piece, I mean, piece. I don't think there's the point, this point to look at the rest of the game, yeah. Uh, I think the third was... game was... Yeah, it was a close was... game. Yeah, it was also a pretty interesting game. Mm -hmm. I think it was here... The... This, this game is interesting, I think, this game. I think, I think, I think a D6 had to be played before the H6, D5. But, anyway. Hmm, before, before. Well, uh, I mean, uh, d6 had to be played before the h6, g5, knight, h5. Before. Ah, uh, here, yes. Before. I mean, here, maybe d6 first, if you wanted to go with this plan. And because uh, after h6, bishop h4, g5, bishop g5, knight, h5. White could go bishop e5, 
Okay, so let's look a4, h6, bishop h. You know, you will go back there, because you know, g5. Yeah, 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 like that. G3, yeah. Yeah, like this. Yeah, like this. I think I think that's. Yeah, but but there's this. Huh? Before there wasn't. I don't know. I'm going to look back. Before not because I haven't played before yet. The pawn wasn't me too. Oh yes, you have it as well in the previous variation as well. I also have it. Yes. Oh, okay. It's actually we're looking at the same position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by transposition. Yes. I sorry, but I, I wasn't really sure, so I decided to play bishop c4 yet. And after bishop c4, it's for sure working, so you have to react somehow. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah knight takes h takes c6. Yeah, we thought here knight c6 was a mistake yeah. because you need to play c5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I'm in on uh, knight d7 to play uh -huh. c5. Mm -hmm. Uh, White's position is very good, I think, from the other. But I, night uh, e5, I, I was scared of night e5, I don't know. No. Nah. e5, I think, was also not very, not, not bad. Because if I play c5 here, night e5, I don't know. No. Oh, we were looking at to play this first yeah. and then c5. Yeah, this is better. Yeah. E5, c5. No. Yeah, there's always c5. Yeah, that's... No, white's got a very good position. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, white is still better, yes. Yeah, white is much better here. Much better. No, 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 much better. No. So Black basically, you need to play c5 first. And if he plays knight e5, you can play f5. That's simple moves, huh? No, no, this is very. F5. This is why ninety five cannot be played because of f five. Yes. Okay. So ninety six, e five, f six. That's cool. The position, the position felt that I, I felt like I was better, but I could not have find, I could not find something like to continue. Yes, and, yeah, yeah, most probably. Well, maybe here yeah. I should not have taken him. Yeah, maybe uh, uh, just castle yeah, on the wrong side. And... But then there's this. Oh, yeah, I was know. thinking about f five then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not so clear. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the machine suggests G4 to play. Uh, F4, I think, here. Yeah, sure. I think it's very bad. F4 is very bad because we go to D3 and. Yeah, the, no, right now, yeah, the diagonal is really weak. I think. Yeah, so this is like required. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was my. This was like better, yeah, because uh, mm -hmm. yeah, after yeah. he takes f six, sure. you know, yeah, we we didn't see this really. You guys get some e five ideas always, and yeah, it's, it's really annoying. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that g four because knight h four knight g six. Nah, it was it's quite difficult there. B five. No, we was. Oh, oh. I thought about that. You're working. I, I thought know. about I that. I saw that there there was this move, but I I just decided to risk it and. I thought about that because I could not find something better. The idea, yeah, because basically he's queen takes. There's no. There's no defense. Knight g5. No go. And knight g4. No go for for the attack. And, here in King D1. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, you King F7 is required. Uh, no, I mean <laughs> Black have to find some <laughs> difficult moves to <laughs> to make this work. Yeah, um, King F7 is like uh, very <laughs> very logical. <laughs> not a human move, huh? uh, See? 
that's not a human moment. No, King of Seven. King of Seven, it's not human. It's not human. But the Ed Sita is the best song, I think. Queen here. Yeah. Queen here. Maybe. We should be one and six on A3, yeah. Something like that. This is you. This is you. Queen Day Day B. No, no. No, here it's... Oh, no. Come on, I'm waiting. Come on, I'm waiting. King of Seven again, yeah. Basically... We must be room. It seems a loss for black from a human point of view. Yeah, it should be. Look at four. 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 Yes, this, this must. This, I think this is losing. From a, if you don't see king f7, you can't play this. Yeah. There's just no, no time for something else here. Even in a classical game, you wouldn't play king f7. <laughs> You're like attacking on this part of the board and you have to play king f7. This is just... I don't, that's crazy. Or oh, b4. <laughs> b4. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this. let's try b4. Yeah. I, I just, I'm just curious if there's any other good move other than king f7. <laughs> I think only king f7 should be working, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even after king f7, it's not that black here yeah, is uh, so much safe. Any no, it's yeah, not. You, but... you still have to find some you know, difficult moves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is unrealistic. Mark, yeah. maybe other other move here. If I was uh, Rajita. Mm -hmm. E five. Don't don't play queen uh, a a one. Don't play that. No, no queen a one. Okay. Maybe look a six with the idea of look c six, but it's slow. It's it's really slow. Yeah, I just have knight takes h six and I, I'm threatening some mates. Uh, Rather than take the rook queen h five and it's already lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why king f seven is a solution because if knight takes, you go to e seven and then you escape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This is this is very hard. Position to see, yeah. No, it wasn't that bad though. E5, E5 was quite okay. It's not a bad. Yeah, it was logical. It was. It was a problem. Black was tempted to be better. It was easier to play as black, I think, after this. Yeah. Oh, I take with D. No, we were thinking maybe take with D. No, yeah, Yannis was suggesting to take with the D pawn. I also thought that taking with the D was better because because then bishop c six and the bishop yeah. is pretty is really strong in that diagonal. Okay. The same question with uh, which rook move. <laughs> it's the same. Uh, no, though. Okay, this is the worst now, but. Oh good. Yeah, this is worse. You have to play bishop f5. Ninety four is always a problem for black and the h6 pawn. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that was very easy um, to collapse the game. And d4 was a nice break too. I played the wrong loop and I take with the wrong. Uh, uh, not so much. Yeah, you have to. Fine, I think. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's not that fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, here I thought Black was winning at some point. Yes, yeah. now Black is winning. Uh, he White needs to be a bit more patient after without playing like. Yeah, this is but it's very bishop. difficult. I mean, Bishop before, even in a classical uh -huh. game, no with second. So mm -hmm. Yes, this is. Knight is king. Knight bishop. But I felt that black position was just easier to. Again, again, the wrong look. Again, the same thing. <laughs> nah. Karim Ali makes a big difference which look to play to d8. Uh, I mean, this is. According to the computer, this is clearly winning. If you take the other one, you are draw. <laughs> and I mean, I mean, the rook from b8 to d8 is more logical. I mean, that the rook... 
FDA is pretty strange. Yeah, it is, it is much lower. Mm -hmm. This is the worst part of the game to me. Which uh, route to choose? Uh, Mark, can you please play yeah. FDA F6? Look okay. at F8, F6. Yes. I want to see the difference. F6. So I to understand why it was the other rook. So this is check. So the king needs to move. Yes. Oh. I just don't have something, I guess. I'm going to be made now. He has F7. He has king G7. And... Mark, you must play the only move as black. Yes. I know. This is... Yeah, is this I, is like it's a blitz game. Uh, what to do? I know we're not we are not engines. This is this it is an engine. This is pure engine uh, moves. Okay, so yeah, in the game, game I wouldn't find uh, in the game after F six King G eight. Don't understand the difference in the game. In the game, no, not here. F six, yes. So if King G eight now. There must be a problem for for black. Ah, F7. Uh, you can see with one move, I'm going to be destroyed here. Uh, one wrong move. F7 checkmate. Okay, okay. So, yes, yes. One move. So, what's to have the F8 square for the king? Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, after F6. King, F, king F7 was supposed to be played. Yeah, this is where. Mihai's most probably lost the game due to this king f7. And on rook h7. Takes f6, goes after this. The king simply escapes. King e6. Where's this? I mean, I have rook e7, maybe. I don't know. It's not that, it's not that simple. No, it's not that simple. No, it's not that simple. You should play 5. You can play king d6, no? <laughs> It's a mess, huh? It is a big mess. This is like a pure mess. King c2, maybe bishop takes pawn even. And check king c6. Maybe. No, no. King c2. Yeah, bishop. Bishop here. Yeah, this, is, this is just messy. It's very, very messy. And, uh, okay. one, one here. Excuse me, I'll go to the toilet for one second. Look, one like pinning the bishop. He, oh, 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 oh. We also then, uh, we're in a time pressure, so that's also a key factor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, look take, look check, king, look knight takes, and here he has this bishop check move. Yes, I played that. I think that. No, you played king e two. Uh, I come in bishop f5 check. Yeah, yeah. One square, one square, Michal. One square for draw now. There. There's king e2, and then you took. Here again, uh, you need to take the bishop and not the rook. But I have to check with the. What happens if I take the bishop here? And he plays the rook check. With the. Uh, you can knight. escape. Oh, knight somewhere. Knight uh, somewhere. You check. Knight. Hello. D, D5. Maybe knight D5, yeah. Knight King G8. D5. The bishops are really strong. I think they defend every. Mm -hmm. Yes, every this is, this is have, why yeah. bishop, mm -hmm. yeah. But again, uh, if you're playing with uh, very little time, it's very hard to yeah, find these true. nuances mm -hmm. here with. Which way to take? King g7, knight takes g5. An interesting game, though. Yeah, very interesting. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You want to see that? It was a. You want to analyze here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you want, don't want to, Michal, it's okay. <laughs> huh? You should find the fastest way to take me. Should we, should we, I think we like... Ah, here we were. Yes, we were criticizing Bishop B5. No, we, we didn't like it. Bishop B5. I think I always have Bishop D7. I don't. 
uh, really face any serious problems. Yeah. Is there black play to exchange? Uh, we were, yeah, we were suggesting here castling instead. And this was not queen d3. Yeah, queen d3 ran into the before, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah because now it seemed like this is a slight, very slightly better, very, very slightly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, we thought that the uh, in the end game, Black is the one who is pressing. I think Black always had the upper hand in the in the game. Mm -hmm. And also when the rooks were exchanged. Yes. yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Because the, the bishop is better than the knight, and also the king was more active, I think. That knight d4, knight b3, with the idea of exchanging all the rooks, I'm not so sure. No. So the, the bishop restricts the knight, so you can't actually go into some, some important squares. Like... Mm -hmm. I thought that you would play sometime in five here, yeah. but if f six e five. He did play e five later. Yes, I mean uh, now. I mean this. Uh, I think it was it was uh, better at the time when uh, he played it because you he. Mean, you mean f f six e five? Yes, f six e five. Ah. Because he was I... the bishop on b six attacking f two. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That, uh, you would yeah, but I, I did not want to exchange the d4 pawn because it's, it was a weakness, so I just I wanted to use it in the course of the game to yeah, um, uh, maybe uh, yeah f6 is just dvoich after e5 white is getting white is going to slightly get the upper hand. No, here now. you just, you, you first you torture your opponent, you shouldn't hurry, because mm -hmm. Black yeah. has the upper hand and he can play e5 when he feels ready for it. Yeah, so it's not necessary at the moment. It's like a lot of maneuvering in this, in this which we I really like. Know, I didn't know how to get that. How to keep it growing. I mean. I love it. It's hard. Yeah, I think you like defended pretty well, and only at some point they made one mistake, and I managed to get with my king to f four, and then yeah, win the game. Yes, here we said knight g five. Yeah, and you suggested knight g5 would have maybe won a pawn here. Yeah. But I thought if I say it's... Oh. I was just an idea, uh, because it's still not so easy for white, because the black king is going to penetrate. But maybe it was a, a it, uh, it was uh, dangerous, I don't know, because I managed to... I can just uh, proceed with my king on a 4 and g3. Like here, for example, this. Yes. Yeah, and I can also restrict the knight with bishop d8 on something, I don't know. If I, or maybe instead of king f4, something like... And if you play king g3? Oh, yeah, you yeah, see. Here, the... yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not so easy. Yeah, it's... Yeah, so it wasn't that good either. And but again, thought... here, knight g5 is maybe an option. I thought in a blitz game maybe it would have been more practical. I don't know. Not uh, not here before it was better, because now the bishop mm -hmm. on d6 controls yeah. f8 and the knight is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just have bishop b7 at the right time. And, mm -hmm. Or knight g5, f6, knight takes h7, king e6, and the knight has no squares. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here, yeah, we saw that in the game. Yeah, yeah if this is Simply king e6, yes. Yeah, but you need to just go back. Yeah, maybe tempt f6. Yeah, here it was. Ah, this is the point. Yeah, yeah. g4 is. Nah, g4 is. Just 
just losing. Okay, why should play knight f3? I just try to continue maneuvering slowly, slowly, but still um, king f4. Black has made progress because the king is on f4. Should white have to try to like yeah, pressure the weaknesses that I have on f5? Yes, for example, it makes more difficult for me to step in on g3. Bishop c5, Bishop c5, uh, there's 92, and uh, now I can't actually uh, proceed. Mm -hmm. The idea is 94, 92 is to cover g3 and f4. Yeah, to cover these two squares. Mm -hmm. But okay, you know, you know, these positions, it's more likely that White is going to make a mistake um, and lose the game than um, managing to, to draw. Yeah, because it's you, you, you're defending. You're going to defend the whole time in a blitz game with uh, White had like 10 seconds. You don't, you don't have a, a lot of time to rescue the position. Yes. Yeah. Black was pressing, okay, it was difficult the, to defend. Now, Let's look at the last game. Okay, we had the King's Indian here. But you know, you avoided the King's Indian in the other game, so... Oh, I just tried something different. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, we didn't like the pieces here, black pieces here. But it's hard to say where it went wrong. Yes, 2.5. 2.5 is not position. Yeah, the computer doesn't like B6. Yeah, B6 is a, it's a strange move. It maybe that could have played something better here. Mm -hmm. Normally in the kicks Indian, black plays b6, so was uh, when he plays knight c5 to take with the b pawn if white takes. But maybe here it was just possible to go knight c5 immediately. Yeah, knight c5 immediately. Yeah, and if g4. Yeah. Slightly more active the knight than in the previous position because after h5, g5. Right. So. Even F6 is not. But it's hard to criticize F6, though. Black is very I passive. Mean, yeah, we have some should... threats on sacrificing on G5, yes. I think F6 was pretty logical. Yeah, F6 is logical, but it's, it's not, it's, it doesn't look good, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Castle. White has more space, and uh, no, no, piece, no pieces were exchanged. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the bishop on g7, knight on e8, uh, very bad. Yeah, piece. that's true. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is the plan for white here? How how can break the? Uh, he, the he will slowly organize uh, his pieces to open the queen side. I think. Yeah, something. Like I just have to find uh, a way to break through in, on the queen side mm -hmm. because on the king side and in the center everything is blocked. So. I think uh, Black had a chance at some point where he actually sacrificed on h5, though. Yeah, h5 was the only thing that I was actually scared of because it was the only idea that Black actually had. Yeah, we didn't, create something. Yeah. We didn't yeah, agree Bishop, with Bishop uh, a4. No, uh, no, Bishop a4 was a good move because he, um, he exchanged oh. the, um, the only good piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you leave only the knight on g7 and the bishop on f8, it's really bad for black. And then after this, g7, yeah, and then knight h5. Yes, initially I thought that white shouldn't exchange pieces, but it was uh, logical. That bishop a4. You were thinking instead of queen h2, Mikhail g4. I don't know if this works. Oh, no, this is actually much, much oh, worse. Rook h1, yes. Yeah, yeah. Rook h1. Yeah, Rook h1, yeah. Mm -hmm. h6. Yes, and then h6. So after this. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what. Yeah, who catch one? Yes, that's what. Yeah. 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 It was lost. Yes. No, there was nothing. Yes. You. I mean. So knight takes h5, but you don't have anything either. If you don't take it and don't create something here, yeah, there's nothing. Because if you just stay is passive. If I is coming and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't find something to defend it. Yeah. I think black got a got a bad position from the opening. No, no, it was uh, very bad. In the way. Yeah, you're right. All right, thank you very much for for the interesting games you provided today. Thank you for letting us participate. Bravo, yes, thank you. Thank you. And congratulations for winning as well. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. The games were and pretty interesting. Thank you, Yanis, mm -hmm. for commentating as well. My pleasure. So we'll see you guys uh, soon, yeah? For the semi-final match. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Good evening to everyone. Yeah, good evening to you as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Hey, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.